Hello, welcome to Invictus Motors. My name is Bashir Zahir. We will be reviewing this Audi RS7. In this review, we're not gonna be having a test drive, but what we will be doing is taking you around the car, the spec, what it's like, how it's been all put up, the owners and the service history, and hopefully all you need to know in terms of buying the Audi RS7. Before we can get into this review and just talking about the sort of spec this has to offer, don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up. I just wanted to say a massive thank you in advance for watching the video because all of our earnings from YouTube gets donated to charity. Currently, we're building a school in Afghanistan, so it goes a long way, you watching every single second of this video. Now, back to the Audi RS7. When the RS7 was first launched, I think this was one of those dream sort of cars. So just to stand next to it and have one in our showroom is an absolutely godsend blessing. This, as a matter of fact, when it was first optioned was in a black color. And in 2018, the owner decided to change it to this gorgeous blue. I can't seem to remember the exact color code, but I think I might have to just guess Sapang blue. It's complemented with this gorgeous um, 21 inch alloys uh, which are finished in this orient sort of gray or gun gray metallic color um, in two-tone diamond cut which works perfectly well you've got the led front headlights they're also high beam assist and one of the main key features as you can see at the front of this audi is the full carbon package you've got carbon here carbon on the rear diffuser and loads of carbon bits on the inside it's always a pleasure to look at this and especially where you find this rs7 having this aggressive sports back setting and this aggressive front grille i think all in all it's been specced incredibly well and obviously the color change has massively helped towards i guess bringing this out of that dim dark black color to this beautiful blue You've also got the adaptive cruise control. So that's also um, a big, huge optional and makes anyone wanting to own and put miles on something like this very easy. And you know, if somebody's got adaptive cruise control, they've done mostly motorway miles. So another really big, huge selling point. Now you've got this beautiful scheme of the grill finished in black with blue carbon, uh, the adaptive cruise control, LED headlights. And as you come back to the rest of the vehicle, we can see the heads up display screen. You've also got the tilt uh, and slide sunroof. And towards the back, you've got this phenomenally beautiful looking spoiler that we're very familiar with the Audi A7. And obviously the Audi RS7 has also inherited this. And you got the sports exhaust you've got the exhaust system at the back obviously you know it's got this gorgeous um aesthetically beautiful sports view to it at the back from the rear diffuser which is also finished in carbon the rear lights are also led let's actually get into the inside of the vehicle and tell you a little bit more about it i think things like this greatly enhances um just how well it's been specced because the side door mirrors that are electrically folding uh, also complement the alloys extremely well. And the other really nice feature is the Audi logo at the bottom of the door. Um, again, another really nice feature. You're immediately welcomed by the um, Audi sport seats and you've got the RS7 written there. And immediately as you sit into it, you know, this is something different. This is in your standard Audi. This is out of the, the world of motorsports. Uh, you, you've also got the lumbar support and as well as uh, I think something around the line of um, eight to 10 way uh, adjustability. The front seats are also heated. You've got carbon um, immediately on the doors, which you can find here next to the uh, memory setting buttons. So you can program your two keys and carbon here, carbon here on the dash. I know it's getting a bit dark. Let's switch it on. <laughs> it's keyless start, so as long as the key's with you, starts up. And it's got this really fantastic, um, you know, roll to the exhaust, especially when it starts up from cold. Um, th th there, is, there is a lot to learn uh, to this car, but you know, let's just focus on what's right here in front of me. You've got the leather, 
flat bottom steering wheel again with RS7 uh, emblem you've got RS7 written there at the front of the vehicle you've obviously got the auto headlights um, with the adaptive cruise control in, in and you've got the beautiful Audi gearbox uh, complemented with a four liter um, V8 and the eight cylinder V8 engine uh, which gives you fantastic uh, performance uh, in terms of the controls for the car they're, they're all they're all pair um, you know very very accessible by pressing this button you get this beautiful screen that opens up that allows you to kind of control your entertainment system and what it has to offer from a dab radio from a navigation point of view you've got a little keyboard here which says one two three four five and six these numbers uh, here in the middle plenty of storage space under the hand rest a bit more a bit more space here for your cup holders and obviously the glove box where the owner's manual lies this has that merino leather look to what you normally find in the mercedes g-wagons this really high end look that you normally get here on uh, on the leather onto the back as as soon as you open the rear doors during the night you get the audi logo display on the floor with the audi record uh, with the, uh, with the audi lettering there let's actually sit in at the back and explain uh that here is actually really comfortable this is this is a perfect family practical car but you know at the end of the day um it doesn't have to be somebody that 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 has got kids that may perhaps buy something like this you've also got the rear heated seats and you've got the climate control that is separate for the rear um, so you've got your own settings in terms of how you like to adjust it again plenty of carbon that you find um on the on the um, on the on the side of the doors here in terms of the sound system this has the Bosa sound system which is a very desirable item and to the back you find the power closing boot here so plenty of storage space for the buggies or you know for your golf sets golf clubs whatever it may be what I would like to actually go through next is the paperwork uh, on this Audi because it's got a full Audi service history and also the owner's history and hopefully kind of wrap it up nicely uh, in terms of just showing you around the car the specification uh, one more time just to review it and hopefully if there's any other questions I'm sure you will reach out to us so let's go through the paperwork next in terms of the number of former keepers this has three previous owners the current fourth owner as a matter of fact has owned it from december 2018 so that is from the owner's point of view in terms of the audi service history obviously it's all a digital service history it's gone into audi every um, single year or depending on the kind of miles you're doing as you would expect it one more time from an audi so this this has last gone into get a service at the main dealer on in July 2021 this is the full spec list I've roughly gone through some of the key spec items but anything that I may have missed I would rather recap um, through here so far nothing that I can find that I've possibly missed the only thing was the eight-speed automatic transmission for the four-wheel drive system obviously this has got the Audi Quattro um, the heads-up display is another really key item that greatly enhances both the value and the driving experience for the driver uh, in the RS7 and overall this is a very comfortable car with a lot of um, driver focused spec item that it has to offer additionally you've obviously got the um, navigation system so you can stop fiddling around with your phone but at the same time the phone gives you more real life data i practically have covered everything that i needed to cover from, from the spec item here um, so the key takeaways from the video are obviously the color scheme it is in now because it's been repainted in 2018 somebody had um, somebody found the right car with the right spec but unfortunately not with the right color and uh, there isn't anywhere on the vehicle 
that will indicate or that will tell you that this was previously in a black color. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised when I found out through the HBI that in 2018 it went through a color change. And um, I think they've done an absolutely amazing job. So if there's any other questions you guys have, ha you guys have when interested in this vehicle, please feel free to reach out to us. Unfortunately, I can't do a test drive as it's getting quite dark. We normally have the drone up in the sky. Uh, One more time, lastly, don't forget to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up and thank you once again for watching and helping towards a great course that we firmly believe in. See you in the next video and bye-bye.